friends in this video we will be talking about a lisp which uh, helps you change the color of uh, all of your blocks very easily this way you won't have to go to their edit block because by default in case you ever want to change the color of a block or in other words you want to change the properties of the color from by layer and give it the color that you have in mind what you should do is that you have to go to its edit block and then change its color. For example, if I want to change the color of this bed, I would have to go to its edit block and then select all of its parts right here and then change its color manually by myself. Here I would have to change it from my layer and then give it another color. Is that right? But now we want to talk about a lisp which can help you do all of this much faster. Because when you are exporting your files from Revit to AutoCAD, each one of the families which you've used on the project will turn into individual blocks. For example, even though these two uh, beds are from the same family, they've become two separate blocks. So this means if you change the color of this one, this one's color won't be changed. Now let's assume that these furnitures that we have in this project, we want to change the color of all the beds. For whatever reason, for example, we might want a better graphic or maybe our template requires that. So we're going to isolate it and then we will be able to see all the furnitures. So now we want to change the color of these beds or for example, these couches. Now the lisp which we are about to use, we have it right over here. And as you can see, this is its command name. Remember that you can change it to whatever that you want and then you have to save it again. All right, so... I'm going to go here and enter AP and then load this lisp. And now we're going to type in what has been written right here, which is BLC. And then we will be able to see the lisp and select it. Once we perform and activate this command, it tells us to choose our color. It basically says which color do you want for your selected furniture. For example, we're going to say we want the color yellow. Then we click OK and now we have to select our objects. You can easily drag a box and select as many furniture as you want. For example, we're going to have this bit too. Once you're done selecting your objects, all you have to do is press enter and then the lisp changes the color of your objects very easily.